today's cook, I'm going to show you how to take a regular corn and transform it to one that tastes like a million bucks. Now, if you think we're going to be eating corn by itself, you're absolutely incorrect. We are a steak channel after all, and today I'm going to be making the most incredible skirt steak you've ever seen in your life. It's going to be juicy, tender, and absolutely delicious. This is taking regular corn and steak and making it taste like a million bucks. So let's do it. The first thing we need to start off is something that it's called sofrito. This is a pack flavor mix to go along with our corn. So in a hot skillet, I throw in some oil, followed by some white onion and cook it until I got a little bit of color. Throw in diced bell peppers and mix it well. After about two minutes, add in minced garlic. Saute and let it cook for an additional two minutes. Make sure to keep the pan under medium low heat. The last thing you want is to burn the garlic. Now add some tomato paste and mix it well. The purpose of the tomato paste is not only to add additional flavor, but also to glaze the pan. What that means is to have those little things stick to the pan. As it's getting cooked, it also produces a nice Maillard reaction on it. And it's what makes your sofrito taste so good because we're gonna deglaze it. And to do that, I throw in some beer. Make sure you scrape the whole pan. You don't want to leave any of that fond behind. Let it simmer until the beer is completely gone. And remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. To finish it off, season it with salt, freshly ground black pepper, and your sofrito is done. This tastes amazing and it's so good you can use it for many other dishes. Now let's talk about corn. These are sweet corn and this is exactly how they came. Unfortunately without a husk. Especially in today's times we gotta get what we can and this was the only one left in my supermarket. But hey I'm not complaining I was very grateful I was able to get it. And this is cotija cheese. To my surprise this is always available even in today's time because it's not that popular and you will always find it in the Latin section on your supermarket. But you're also able to order it online. And this is Mexican tahine. It is an incredible seasoning that goes along with many dishes. Again, you will be able to find this one in your Latin aisle in your supermarket. And just in case you don't, you can always get it online. The unique thing about this seasoning is that it does not only taste amazing, but it has a very strong, powerful taste of lime. So whenever you're using it, keep that in mind and don't add too much because it's nice and powerful. The first thing I need to do is to boil the corn. I tried this recipe before by just grilling the corn and it is not the same. For some reason, boiling it gives a much better texture and that's what I recommend. You want to boil it until it's nice and soft to your taste. Once it's done, quickly remove it and set it into a cooling rack. As it's still hot, smother some butter on it. And do it like you mean it. We all know that butter makes everything better. And for corn, it's absolutely true. To make it easier to handle, I added some wooden skewers. And if you don't have any available, it's not necessary. And to give that nice char flavor, I used my torch. Now let me tell you something, this goes quick. So be very precise and fast with that torch. Because as you can see, that thing will char instantly. Once I was done, this is what I got. It's nice and soft because of the boiling water, but I still have that nice char flavor. Now the next step might sound weird for a lot of people, but I'm telling you, it works like a charm and that is to spread a good amount of mayo on it. You will not be able to taste it. The reason for the mayo is so that it can act as a binder because the next thing we gotta do is fill it up with the cotija cheese. Now make sure you add it to every single edge. Trust me, you cannot overdo it. This cheese together with the corn combination is absolutely incredible. Now the only thing left to do is to spread that tahine seasoning all over. Remember not to put too much. Throw in that wonderful sofrito on top. Now if you don't only want to make it taste like a million bucks but also look like one, add in some thin slices of radish and jalapeno. To top it off, add a little piece of lime, a little bit of chives, and your Mexican street corn is done. This, my friends, tastes absolutely incredible, and I really hope you give this one a try. But like I said, we're not going to be eating this by itself. We're going to make some incredible steaks. And talking about that, I'm using these beautiful skirt steaks. After picanha, in my house, this is my family's favorite steak. The flavor is just amazing. The good thing about it is that they are not that expensive. And the first thing I like to do is to marinate it. So for that, I threw in a little bit of red wine, followed by olive oil, mustard powder, garlic, and my secret ingredient, umami powder. And remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Now all there's left to do is to mix it well and your marinade is done. It's a good idea to pick each individual steak and mix them well. This will ensure that every single one of them has a nice coated with that beautiful marinade. For even better results, do it overnight. Once it's done, remove it from the marinade and put it on a cooling rack. As you saw it on the marinade, 
itself, there was no seasoning. That's because I like to add all the salt myself so I can put the correct amount. So talking about that, after seasoning them with salt, I went in with freshly ground black pepper. Make sure you season all sides, including the edges. I recommend putting it back in the refrigerator and letting the salt penetrate into the meat for at least one hour. That will ensure that the skirt steak is seasoned all the way through. I've also made a quick simple sauce to go along with it. And here's how. In a pot, throw in some white vinegar, followed by a few spoon of tomato sauce. Then throw in soy sauce and brown sugar. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Now keep it under medium heat and let the sauce reduce to half. Once it has reduced, your sauce is done. This is the exact consistency you're looking for. But now that we have everything ready, all there's left to do is to cook these beautiful steaks. I'm gonna be cooking them in direct heat. Remember, they're thin, so you gotta go nice, hot and fast. But now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill these beautiful steaks. So let's do it. I want to thank Opinion Outpost for sponsoring this video. If you are unfamiliar with Opinion Outpost, it is an easy way for you to make some extra cash. You can get paid by sharing your opinions on a bunch of stuff like sports, appliances, or even what you ate for lunch. Come on, <laughs> it's really easy to get started. You can just use the link on the description down below, register your account, and start giving your opinion to score points that can easily convert to cash or gift vouchers, whichever one you prefer. I did mine while I was actually cooking these steaks. You can do it anywhere, anytime, while watching TV or playing with your friends or cooking a delicious meal like I was. Thank you once again, Opinion Outpost, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys check them out in the description down below. But now, let's get right back to the video. everybody here's my take on mexican corn angel this is street mexican corn and obviously skirt steak with a little sweet and tart sauce which i think is going to be good i'm excited to try you ready let's jump right which in. which one we're going to go first a steak a steak <laughs> all right let's go for that steak cheers everybody cheers. wow that is a huge amount of flavor a lot of charcoal on this a lot of charcoal you know why because because you know, you know I like the charcoal, so you put That's it right. <laughs> what happens is when you're cooking the steak, everybody, it's direct grilling. There is no indirect. You're just going full power every single time until you get that doneness that you like. Also, at the same time, you're getting a wonderful, wonderful char, which is what you like. I love it. It's my thing, bro. It's what I do. I love charcoal. Charcoal is good. But yeah. you made a sauce. I did make a sauce. So it's only right that we try it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So Go for it. Let's dip Tell me what you think about this sauce. Let's try it out. Mm-hmm. I didn't now this nothing. sauce this sauce is a little bit sweet a little bit tart as you guys know it has a little bit of a lot of different things but um i think it goes very nice with a skirt steak you ready for the sauce let's try it out man cheers everybody cheers mm, completely changes the steak right so now it's like asian style yeah <laughs> uh really really sweet soy sauce mm -hmm. but it's good though with a little bit of tart because there's quite a bit of vinegar in there Oh. Also some tomato sauce. That sauce is amazing. You can use this sauce for any type of steak that you want to completely change the profile of the steak. Are you ready to try the Mexican corn? I think it's I think it's time already. Well, the good thing about it is that you see it the sofrito which is on top allows the actual stuff to stay on top everybody. It doesn't fall off. Now what you want to do exactly what you want to do Squeeze a little bit. Now hold on a second before you try anything. Oh. We got jalapeno in there. Oh. So if you don't like it too spicy, then I suggest you take the jalapeno, jalapeno out. This? But it's very, very thin, yeah? No spicy for me today. No spicy today for I'm you? I'm gonna be chill. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. There's only one way, huh? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's so flavorful and so juicy. It's like, how do you describe this one? You're probably used to that sweet butter 
and barbecue for the for the corn, right? Right, right, right. This is like if if you could think about like uh, the Mexican flavors of like the spices and all that, maybe even like kind of I would say like even like a Bloody Mary ish uh, type of thing, like the yeah, rim, the rim. Maybe, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. for the fancy ones. <laughs> it's like that, but with corn. <laughs> That's all I can say. I will say this: if you had never had this, everybody, cheese? yeah, it's called uh, cotilla cheese. If you never had this, everybody, definitely give try, it a try. Yeah. It is so wonderful. It is not hard to make. The sofrito on top really gives a nice, unique flavor. But you know, if you don't want to do it and you don't want to spend too much time with the sofrito. Just do the regular stuff, which is basically the cotilla cheese and all that. You saw it. Using the torch is wonderful because it's instant. I put the torch in and it automatically gives that nice charm. Which one is better, this one or the steak? Oh. Ah, <laughs> I put you on the spot. Which one's better? No, what are you doing? No, come on, Angel. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Make this one, bro. This one is good. <laughs> we are out. Man, I, got, I, I, might, I might eat the husk. Oh. I might eat... Mm. This is something... It's so good. So good, everybody. So good.